If you don't have a little, um, a little Pilates ball like this, I'm gonna put up a link to buy one off Amazon. We're not gonna use it today, don't worry. But they're so handy and I'm gonna start using it in this class because it will give you more, more. How's that? Just more. It'll give you more. Okay, we're gonna start on our back. So let's lie down. Little sister's here, of course. He's ready to go. We're gonna crunch. Curl up, release. Curl up, release. And then the important thing here, breathe with it. So you're gonna exhale to curl, inhale to release. Exhale, inhale. Try not to curl from your elbows. Does that make sense? So this doesn't mean you're going any deeper. Make it come from here. Start to push your feet down to the floor more and start to engage your glutes a little bit more. We're going to pulse it up right here. Lift. Again. Yes, we're gonna reach to this side. Reach for two. Other side. So you're still lifting up. We're just taking a little side bend here. Yes, core and stretch. Two more. One more. Release it down. Shoulders and head, arms in your side. Push the shoulders down. Pick up your knees. Pick up your knees. All right, so feet right in line with your knees here. We're going to inhale. Exhale, one foot down. Inhale it up. Exhale down. So knees down top of the hips the whole time. Not in toward the chest. So not in here on top of your hips. Yes? You're stabilizing. Spine doesn't move. Rib cage doesn't flare or pop. Again, four, three, two, beautiful, both feet down with control, all right, tipping in the pelvis, tilting, you're going to go here, push the low back down, posterior pelvic tilt, you're going to come through neutral, you're going to go the other way, sort of exaggerate, pulling the spine away from the floor, anterior pelvic tilt, yes? We go here, we go to here. So it's sort of like when we do cat and cow, but we're isolating that low back. One more. And then I'm gonna find neutral, so it's that spot right in between. Feet coming pretty close to your hips, arms can stay off the side like a cactus. You're going to bridge those hips up. You're going to hold it there, my darlings. Little pulse. Lift up. Lift up. Good. As you lift, stay long in your low back. Try not to let the knees flare out. Keep the knees in line with the hips, in line with the feet. Legs are parallel. That was the spelling. That was the word, I should say. I lost the fourth grade spelling bee on. I was so mad, I'll never spell it wrong again. The double L's are in the first part, not the end. Parallel. P-A-R-A-L-L-E-L. -L -E -L. Parallel. If only I could go back. These are the things that stay with me, right? Lots of stuff to be on parallel. Four, three, two, hold it up. 
right knee in, keep pulsing, keep pulsing. Stabilize, if it feels better with your arms down at your side, go for it. So notice if you start to fall off to that left side, uh -uh. keep hugging in, keep hugging in. Eight, seven, four, three, two. Now hold it up, hold it up. This leg's gonna go like a windshield wiper, back and forth, back and forth, left and right. Stabilize, stabilize. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Last four, go four, and three, two, good, bring them back through center, you get a little break because I have to reset, all right, take uh, knee up rather, lift up, lift up, don't stop, don't stop, I have a stupid waiting room on in my Zoom accidentally, so I keep having to get up, sorry, sorry, keep that single leg bridge going. Hello ladies, just coming in. Yes, yes. Don't stop, don't stop for four, three, two. You're gonna hold it up, take that leg up. Like a windshield wiper side to side. Stabilize against that movement. Yes, yes. Hips up, hips up, hips up. Don't stop. Don't stop. Yes. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Put your foot down. Bring the shoulders up, legs come out. Hold. Good, you're gonna take the feet a little bit apart. And you're gonna have your feet turn a little open from the inner thigh. And then we're gonna click the heels in. Click, 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 click. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. You're gonna hold it up, you're gonna hold it up. One leg comes up. Bring it down. Lift up. And yeah. Don't stop, don't stop. Four.
the knees in. Give yourself a squeeze. So good. So good. Both legs up straight. And then take it out. Side plank. I honestly don't know why I put my hair back when I teach this class, because it all just gets jacked up anyway. Side plank. Hold it, hold it, hold it. So listen, all control, no momentum, one inch up and down. So let me look at my feet. 
Look at them. They don't move. Come on. Do that. So not moving from the feet. No. Just from the hips. Which means your range of motion is probably smaller. Keep it tight. Keep it small. No momentum. All control. Pushing from that front foot. Yep. Arms are going to come up. Bring the hands 
come down. This hand, the left hand, I think, for everybody, if you followed my instructions, is going to be down. Come onto the pinky side of your left foot. Turn your right toes forward. Push your hips up. Reach up and over. Stay here or step this right foot back. Side plank. Just a 
the belly in. Last two. Uh-huh, uh-huh. One more. Good. Forward fold. Drop your head. Rock your weight side to side, bending one knee, straightening the other leg. Come through center, both knees bend, bring your hands behind your legs, take hand to elbow, hand to elbow. Let the torso drop as low as it can into your legs and then slowly start to send your hips to the sky. That doesn't necessarily mean your legs straighten, just send your hips to the sky. They might straighten. Rebend legs. Come down to seated. Legs go out wide. Legs out wide. Root the heels down. Rise up. Good. Pull your toes toward your hips and then point your toes away. Do that again. Pull them back and then point them away. Again. Good. Bring the feet into each other. Take your feet, pull them as close to you as you can, and then knees wide. Come forward. Rather. And then bring the knees in and then just sit back. Good. 
Lift the heart up. And then drop off to one side. Up and over. Come back up. And another side. Bring your hands behind your head. Broaden across the collarbones. Lift up. Come up into your knees if it's okay. Take a little back bend if it's okay. Rise back up. Release your hips down. You're done. Core and stretch. Another one of the books. Check, check. Have a great day. Really quick, if you came in late, if you um, if you don't have a little ball like this, I'm gonna put a link up where I'll probably send an email out to those of you that are on my mailing list will get it. This tree does not like this ball. This is one way to get rid of it. Um, we're gonna start using this in classes. So it's just a little, any ball will do. I just got one off of Amazon because the really good one I had got really yucky. So and it was like I think $9 or $10. So if you have one, great. If you don't, consider investing in one, we'll start to use it and it will just kind of jump up the game a little bit. If you need anything, if you have any questions, you know the deal. Bye.